So next I'm going to do some uh, read and write operations. Reading we have already done because when you hit this uh, read data it brings it reads the entire memory card and uh, as you can see here uh, I've sent so many uh, read command to read so the data plus I've also used the read protection command to read the protection bits as well so let's clear that so we know that you cannot write uh, without authentication first I'm going to or you can try to write and see what happens so I'm going to click on E probably I'm going to write SLA 5i 28 is 1k B okay all right so I've written here so you can see in all hexadecimal you can also see in ASCII you can see that here let's try to write it this is my own message because I know you cannot write it so even the documentation says you can't write it so this is uh, I, I've done some checking before uh, I let you write so it says authenticate before write. okay so we are going to authenticate and for all the new tags uh, the password will be all FFs and it doesn't have to be always but uh, this particular tag I bought has got this default FF uh, FF password so let's set to authenticate let's see what has happened you know in the background so this is the command the ACR 39 u documentation says so um, this the last two bytes are the password so the return is 90 is a success and if the return value is FF it means it's a success so any other number says you know it's a wrong password and it also tells you how many more uh, entries you know how, how many more attempts you know it's there before the card gets completely locked so it's successful so as you can see here error counter I'm showing FF means success so now we are authenticated and the button shows uh, green characters here so let us try to write write the write data okay you can't trust this because this is my own message let's see what has happened here we have to I'm using the write memory command from the documentation and the return code is 9000 so I don't go with the return code because you I somehow I'm not able to see any error code here I always see 9000 even if the write was not successful so I just had to check with the ACS uh, uh, the company so it looks like it's return this is a nice message here let's try this let's try to eject this and try again connect and select and read okay you can see that it is indeed written to the tag okay so you can keep on writing you know just write anything you like you can just write you know character by character here say for example uh, s l e uh, four four sorry you can just write one four four two eight this is the ASCII so I'm going to authenticate that's fine and write so write is okay we know the write is working now so we don't have to again eject the tag and uh, try again so the writing is very straightforward simple and you know this the last three don't try to write here and one more thing you know I would like to I would like to uh, mention here is the f see here the first two the, the 32 bytes the first two you know the first 32 bytes are not protected so probably if I were to use this tag in any of any any of my software probably I would have uh, used this first 32 bytes to write a unique ID for the tag so but now it's pretty open you can just go and write anything anywhere entire tag okay so that's how the write is done so let's go and see uh, how to uh, protect it so I'm going to protect this uh, tag here so this address sorry the byte from address 32 onwards 
So I made a nice program here. Look at that. If I if you tick, I'm just going to show you that it's going to get protected now. So I'm going to uh, protect these three bytes, okay? And click on the W link here. It says, "Do you want to lock these tick memory address?" Okay, yes, I want. So something has happened there. Let's go and check with the commands. So if you go into the last, this is the the right protection block command. So here, what I am doing is I am just locking byte at a time. So because you know we are we are locking three bytes here, I'm sending three commands. So the first command blocks the first byte at address. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, zero one. So not zero one two zero. This is the one two zero. 2, 1 and 2, 2. This is hexadecimal. So I don't know whether it's locked or not. To check, I'm going to take it out and try again. So connect, read, sorry, select and read. So this button, look at that. So it's already locked so I'm showing all the log bytes in red so right now the software lets you untick it but keep in mind you know you cannot unlock it it's, it's not possible so it, you just have to you know, keep that in mind so now we know how to lock you can also use the top bits here to lock as well so assume that I want to lock just go and you know write something just rather than uh, just go to ASCII I'm going to write um, edit is uh, cool and edit so ACR 39 U is uh, cool okay something like that okay so first I have to write it so before you lock, keep in mind you have to write it. I'm going to write this. Oh, sorry. I know that you can't write. So authenticate. So write this and write that. Okay. So we have returned. Okay. Um, uh, 16 plus 16, 32 bytes. So I want to log everything from the address uh, 32 and up to the address, the last byte here, which is uh, 80 minus 1, 79. 79 and let's go and clear this and see what's going to happen there okay so I'm just trying to pro um, protect a sequential bytes from 32 to 79 if I say lock so just a piece of a uh, warning saying that you know you can't undo this yes so color is nice I don't know why why it's not showing everything here it could be uh, my programming but let's let's go and see what has happened here okay so a lot of comments have gone in you know for me the best thing to try is let's try to read I'm going to read uh, the protection memory from here and here and here so something has gone wrong here actually so the writing looks like you know the writing did not go well let's try again okay so looks like it has uh, it could be my programming error so I have to just uh, I have to check that and fix it so so no, you can use this to write sequence uh, uh, sequential memories and let's see how to change the password so change the password you first have to authenticate authenticate it so I'm going to change the password to um, say for example a1 and a2 
it to change okay I don't know why I got right here suddenly okay so when you go okay sorry so the pass looks like the password has changed and if I go and read this uh, 1024 the last three bytes of this uh, memory just go and see read okay as you can see here the password is stored here okay so now this confirms the password has been changed and when you change the password the return value is also ff so it's success all right you know uh, just busted that tag as well so this is a different tag but i just want to continue this uh, video um we know the password was a1 and a2 so I just forgot and tried A1 and A0. I tried more than eight times. The card got locked. So this is a different tag. So I'm going to authenticate. I've already changed the password of this tag to A1, A2. Authenticate. So authentication is uh, done. So read the data. So this is the first tag you know we saw. Okay. I'm going to you can just try again locking so you can lock further probably I can lock you know I can lock all these bytes okay so I'm going to uh, before I do that let's try to put some okay so I'm going to write and keep in mind you have to first write only then you have to protect the password so the reason is if you don't do the write operation and if you don't write it you know the way the the protection works we have to send this 16 bytes of data and when you send that these don't match with the data which is already present in the EEPROM so the the protection may not work we can give it a try I myself haven't tried that but probably I would like, like to try that with you so let's finish this uh, writing do you want to write yes so you can read the protection bit let, let's try to make all this uh, protection bit remove all the protection bit from the screen so keep in mind we're just changing the screen content not the memory so I'm going to read the protection bit look at that so when you click on the R a command is sent to the card to read all the 16 bits so now we know the protection thing uh, worked let us try to do that magic here say again you know it's for me don't forget PSC PSC sorry PSC okay I'm going to write or just going to lock all first sorry so write sorry okay write okay and let's try to read so as you can see here uh, the writing did not went on well so so that shows before you write protect you must first transfer the data to the memory I think that's all about this SLE uh, 4428 and uh, I've got uh, things to do now we just saw this a small bug this write did not uh, go well probably that will be fixed so I'm going to show you four 
the cards uh, that are not working anymore it works but the password is locked let us try what I have got in uh, in this tag so connect and read read all the data I think all these four tags you know are it's a problem the password so if I if I just see what's the content of this password here see it's set to zero okay the password count is zero there are no one bits so probably I have to change when this is zero I have to make this as uh, locked okay I'll do that in my next release even if you try to I don't know the password probably try F F0 it says authentication error so because of that you cannot write so just try to write yeah this message is mine so you can't write it so this is I think I don't have to show all the four because you know this the remaining three also the same password problem there's one more important thing probably I would like to mention is so assume that we are customizing this tax so we want to write everything we wanted to then we want to lock it so the so that no further write is possible so usually now we so I'm going to show what what exactly I want to do now so first authenticate sorry authenticated wrong password a1 a2 authenticate that's fine so you'll have you know something to be written everywhere so I'm going to write um, this is my name so I'm going to write here so right sorry uh, edit uh, this is my address and edit and this is uh, my job so like that assume that you know we have we have written all the required data then you want to lock it so how do we lock so locking means you do not want user to authenticate anymore so I just want to make this error counter zero so I'm going to write this before I do just say write write and write okay the write is successful so I tried something you know because of that I lost three tags so I just went and wrote the value some value to this uh, error counter so probably I think I try to change the value of this error counter to have only one bit or two bits or three bits somehow uh, the card stopped authenticating from that point on so it looks like looks like you know it's not very clear it looks like we cannot uh, directly go and change this uh, error counter bits in theory it should it is allowed but I don't know why it didn't work for me okay the only option we got now is I'm going to again log this tag so probably the only option is if you want to do this you know through software so I'm going to authenticate with the wrong password yeah this is one more thing you know I can notice here even though so here the, the, the currently the tag is authenticated even though I use a wrong password so the card rejects any wrong authentication so that's how the card works maybe so let's try again so I'm going to log this tag probably have to order 10 more from eBay so read authenticate I don't have to I'm just I know my password is a1 and a2 so let's try to authenticate wrong I got e I got 7C, I got 7, 8, I got 3 tries, I got 2, I got 1, and last, that's it, locked. So now it's completely locked. Even though I tried to use my correct password A1 and A2, I know this is my correct password. If you authenticate, you cannot do this any further. It's completely locked. 
you cannot write so if you want to create a read-only tag probably you'll end up doing something like this through program